In today's video, we are going to be abusing a commander combo in modern. The combo that's popular in commander is Cabal Coffers and Urborg. The reason this is so popular is because Cabal Coffer reads, pay two, tap it, add one black for each swamp you control. And while usually you need four swamps on the battlefield to make this a profitable exchange, this is not the case because of Urborg Tomb of Yagma. This land reads, each land is a swamp in addition to its other types. This combo means that instead of having to have Cabal Coffers and four other swamps, you can have Urborg Cabal Coffers and two lands to start generating mana. But the real question is, what are we going to do to abuse all this mana? Well, we're a Karn deck and we're playing Invoke Despair. And if you haven't seen Invoke Despair, this is a five mana sorcery that reads target opponent sacrifices a creature. If they can't, they lose two life and you draw a card. Then repeat this process for an enchantment and a planeswalker. This means this is a guaranteed three for one. And usually it's going to kill a creature and draw you two cards or a problematic planeswalker and draw two. And if that's not enough for you, we also have Karn the Great Creator, which is a four mana walker. And the minus two is what we want. Minus two you may reveal an artifact card you own from outside the game or choose a face-up artifact card you own in exile put that card in your hand this means that we can go into our sideboard and we have so many artifacts in there and we can grab whatever we want and last but not least we are playing eight field of ruin effects and this is the land that reads pay two tap it sacrifice field of ruin destroy target non-basic land and opponent controls each player searches their library for a basic card puts it onto the battlefield then shuffles their library and in a format where basics are at an all-time low these cards are so easy to mana denial your opponents and we're playing 10 basics ourselves so we'll never run into any issues so let's take this deck into a league and see how good this combo is in the modern format game one we're on the draw with a fine hand one plays a misty and we top deck a coffers like a stud we'll just go urborg and hold up push though on it shocks in a sacred foundry and plays out a rin who profane tutor all right we'll go coffers and suspend that it fetches out a basic forest plays out a teferi takes up rin draws with teferi and teferi does shut off our profane tutor which is kind of sad yep and we don't have a way to kill it so we are going to just draw two with Night's Whisper, Finding Lands. Opponent just ticks up both, holding up all their mana. We cannot cast this. Find a Blood Chief's Thirst. Or actually, we'll go Blood Chief's Thirst on the Ren into a Karn. I think that's a fine one. We'll down to Karn. And we'll pick up the Sundering Titan. This means if we do top deck another Cabal Coffers, we can cast this next turn and blow up all their lands. On our end step, they do Prismatic and the Karn. Opponent runs out an Omnath, plays out a Fetch Land. They shock him the land, and this means they get four mana, cast an Oath. Ooh, revealing Fury. Then they run out another Tuff. They bounce Oath to their hand, replay Oath. Oh, and then they reveal Risen Reef, find another land. I think we'll just feel to ruin them and then Fatal Push the Omnath. And we make five mana, push Omnath. We could play Karn here. But we know that they have a Fury. Yeah, we'll just play with Karn out and then tick up. Opponent has another Omnath into a fetch land, ticks up to Fairy. They grab a Temple Garden, run out a Risen Reef that we knew about. And then they cast the Leyline Binding on our Karn into a Renin Six. Pretty good turn for the opponent. All right, we find a Fatal Push. We'll run out our Sundering Titan, blow up all five of their lands pretty sweet turn for us although they still have a bunch of mana they play a land for turn fetching triggering omnath gaining four they pick up a hollowed fountain getting four mana off of omnath they cast a solitude exiling our sundering titan this means that we'll destroy two of their lands they take up ren and attack us for five we find a land float seven mana we will run out of karn and i'm gonna grab a walking ballista run out for x's three fill risen reef fill solitude and fatal push the omnath and now it's their two planeswalkers and two enchantments versus the world oh it shocks in the temple garden down ticks to fairy bounces to oh three plays oath Revealing another Teferi. They evoke out a Fury, killing our Karn. And they took up on a Hallowed Fountain, discarding a fetch land to clean up. Ooh, we find a Knight's Whisper. We'll lead on that. Binding Relic and Damnation. So we will invoke them. Then we will Field of Ruin them, see how many basics they have left. And they just scoop them up there. Pretty sweet win. Let's get on to sideboarding. And this will happen a lot. Our sideboard is a Karn board. So this means that we don't really have much for this matchup or for a lot of matchups. So we'll just submit the deck. For game two, our hand just needs a payoff. So I'm going to keep it. Don't shocks in the Stomping Ground and just pass their land so we'll lead on urborg oh it just runs out an island we find another land we'll play out coffers i'm gonna cast unmoored ego on us this will probably name karn and it does name karn now i'm not really sure how you win this game looking at our deck guess we are on the really bad burn plan another land for us not great i'm gonna cast out a wren picks up and plays the land another land off the top for us i'm gonna ticks up on a land plays out an omnath we will field in response grabbing a swamp and then we will fatal push the omnath then opponent runs out of cavern we find a mark 
March, so we will take this opportunity to kill the Wren, dealing eight and gaining eight. They run out to Fairy, taking up or down ticking. We draw an invoke. Great draw. So we will invoke them. Oh, and we get Veiled. That's a fun card. Good one to know about, though. Then we will Demolition Field their cavern. They just run out of fetch and tick up to Fairy. They cast an Endurance, targeting no one. Then they cast out a Wren, grabbing a Triome from the graveyard. Pain Tutor's not a great draw. We will just play out a Swamp and pass. And I just realized they never exiled our Karn, so they still are in the deck. They cycle a Triome, play land out, and tick up on the Triome with Wren. Attack us for three. We draw another land, so we'll play one out and just pass. Run ticks up with Wren. Down ticks up to Fairy. Cast an Eldomri's Call. Finding an Omnath. They run out Omnath. Play a fetch land. Attack us down to 19. Fetch for a Triome, getting four mana. Then triggering the last ability, dealing four to us. We're down to 15. They run out another Teferi and just pass. Discarding the hand size. And we found a Damnation. Not bad. Cast that Damnation. Opponent ticks up on Cavern. Plays out Fury. Playing out Cavern. Ticking up with Teferi. And nothing else. And we find a Karn. Great draw. They'll run out of Karn. And this is why it's funny that our opponent never ended up exiling this because we shouldn't have drawn this. And opponent just scoops him up. Let's get on to match number two. Number two, we are on the play with a fine hand. We'll just go Swamp, hold up Push. Oh, it goes turn one Ragavan. We will Fatal Push that. We untap, drawing a Swamp. Oh, it goes land into a dash Ragavan, killing the Ragavan and gaining one life. Ooh, and we top deck an Urborg. We're out Coffers. Oh, it goes land into DRC. Looks like they're holding up a counter spell. We'll just play out a Swamp here. Oh, it goes land into Shredder, access for one. And on their end step, we'll just go to kill this DRC. An opponent counters that. Not sure if I agree with the counter here. And they've been a Blood Moon off the connive or off the surveil pretty happy about that and we draw another coffers so we have seven mana we will run out karn and i think we just grab an ensnaring bridge here and hope they don't have any outs to that they probably have one ottawara they can have away a lightning bolt they cast a mistress bobble and cast expressive iteration they can have away a shredder meaning this can't attack now which is great they find a consider they dash out a ragman after combat and i think this game's just over uh we'll down to karn we'll find i think cityscape leveler is the best pickup we will cast that we will kill yes the drc here the opponent scoops him up let's get on to sideboarding For this matchup we're going to bring in kozlek as a good card against counter spells and bring in all the warping whales as good removal spells and take out damnation and invoke and a blood chief's thirst game two our starter is little land light to a mole and our six looks the same so we got to mold this as well <laughs> and our five also looks the same but i guess we'll keep this since it's on five and we'll keep these five when it goes turn one ragavan we find another card we cannot cast when it goes land and to attack exiling a fatal push Ooh, we find an urborg they fetch out an island play out land go to combat or apologies we'll go for a warping whale trying to kill ragavan exiling a swamp we find our tutor we'll lead on fatal push here and that just happens when it goes islet into dash ragavan i think we'll just let this hit and it hits an invoke despair which they can cast and an opponent doesn't realize that they can cast this thank god they cast out a Merktide, and I think we'll just go to kill this Ragavan. Exile and Profane Tutor. When that just happens, we find another land. We will lead on Knight's Whisper and Karn in the land. When it goes land to another Ragavan, exile and an Urborg. We find a Tutor, so we will play out our Karn. They crack the Islet, cast a Consider, bending DRC, and Karn resolves. We'll down tick, finding Insaring Bridge. do not dash his Rag, attacks us with Ragavan and Karn with. Merktide, exile another Urborg. We find an Invoke, so we will cast out our Insaring Bridge. Opponent draws off Islet, and Bridge resolves. And then opponent casts an EE -E on three, and that's us dead. Let's get on to game three. Game three, our hand looks good. We'll go Swamp Go. Opponent casts Bobble, targeting himself. Shuffles away their top, and just finds a land. No plays after that. Ooh, we find a Karn, so we'll just suspend this Profane Tutor. Opponent goes land into Shredder, casting a Bobble and conniving. And they discard an Unholy Heat. Find another Warping Whale, which we cannot cast. We'll Blood Chief's Thirst the Shredder. Opponent jams a seasoned pyromancer discarding ragavan and heat we cast profane tutor and i think i actually want knight's whisper here all fatal push we'll whisper finding a relic so we'll cast a relic and pop it immediately finding another relic opponent dashes out a ragavan access for six exiling an urborg and we find a demolition field which unlocks our warping whales so run out relic and just hold up warping whale and fatal push here opponent dashes out monkey tax for six so lead on warping whale trying to kill monkey that just happens and we'll pop relic and in response to the 
exile, we'll push the Season Pyromancer, find another field, we find another Warping Whale, so we'll just play a field, holding up both Warping Whales, don't dash that another monkey, go for another Warping Whale, this happens, they run out of tapped land, on the end step, we will kill their Steam Vents, we find a Coppers, and I think we're supposed to play out this Karn, don't have high confidence that's resolving, and they have a subtlety for it, and we'll put it on top of our deck, they run out of Bobble, Bobble himself, cast in the eye, we will counter that, they crack their Islet, cast out a Shredder, this means that our Karn will resolve, so we're out Coppers, play out Karn, get the down tick, and we'll grab Bridge, play it out, and hope that they don't have a Bolt, and we might as well just use Demolition Field on their lands, when it just passes, we find an Invoke, so we'll lead on that, we find a March, and we'll March the Shredder, exiling our other Invoke, and it's X is 10, so that would gain us 10, they discard a Murktide, Surveil, and or cast Consider in response, keep the card on top, and we're up to 13, and I think we're gonna down tick for a Walking Ballista, actually no, it's an Escape Leveler, they can kill our Karn, but that's fine. An opponent attack down Karn, and attacks us for one. We're down to 12. They cast an EI. They exile Misty. Find a Knight's Whisper. Finding Swamp and a Relic. We'll pop Relic before we cast the Leveler. We don't want this getting exiled from our yard. And then we'll cast a Leveler. Killing one of the Elementals. And they Subtlety it. And we'll put this on top. And I guess we'll push the Subtlety now. Opponent cracks an Islet. And opponent scoops him up. We're 2-0. Oh. Let's get into match number three. Match number three, we are on the play with a fine hand. We just run out of Swamp, Strand for the opponent, Swamp for us. Opponent runs out of DRC, into a Strand, and we won't even march yet, we can wait. I think they're gonna be holding up a Spell Pierce here. Shocks in a Foundry, and attacks in for one. Again, we're just not gonna do anything. We'll just keep playing out lands and seeing what happens. Opponent fetches a Steam Vents, and Shocks it on, on our main phase, then cast to Consider. It ain't a Breach. In response, I'm gonna deal one to this DRC, playing around Spell Pierce, and they have a Spell Snare. Oh no. At least our opponent didn't get Delirium though. Opponent cast DI. This will give them Delirium. Exiling a Scalding Tarn. It attacks us for three. Into a Ragavan. And cast a Bobble. Surveiling away a Lightning Bolt. Another land. We're just gonna play that out, and we will cast a Damnation. Yep, and this is a Spell Pierce that I thought they had. Keep a card on top, off the Surveil. Opponent attacks us for five. Exiles our Knight's Whisper. Run out another DRC. Cast a Knight's Whisper. Keeps the card on top twice, and passes. We'll play our land out, and go for Damnation. Just resolves. Opponent cast out a Ledger Shredder into a DRC. Conniving away at Consider. We find a Fatal Push. We'll run out of Field. Cast Invoke. Attack their Shredder. And we'll go for the Push now. They could have a Pierce, but if not, it's better. They bolt us on the end step opponent cast out a breach cast a drc into another drc and we go to the opponent's end step they're sacking underworld breach they just bobbled like 12 times yep a few triggers from them and i'm gonna field them in our upkeep because they saw our top card they bobble us again we find a fatal push we will field another one of their lands and we'll field another one of their lands they're out of basics now so then we will push one of the drcs and i hope that they don't have a way to win the game here and step they consider and they bolt us and that's just lethal so we'll get on to sideboarding we'll bring in four warping whales for two invokes and two damnation Game two, our starter just doesn't have enough lands. Our six is much better. We'll put back an invoke. Go turn one Urborg into Relic. Oh, and just goes Sludge Strand Pass. Ooh, we find a Profane Tutor. We will suspend that. Oh, and just goes Land Ragavan. We find a Karn. We'll lead on Night's Whisper. And opponent had to spell Pierce. Opponent attacks us for two. Exiles a Warping Whale. Then cast a Shredder. And playing a land out. We cast Profane Tutor in our upkeep. Grabbing a Coffers. We find a field as well. And we'll just run out a Relic. Opponent connives. Discarding a land. And we'll just pass holding up Fatal Push. Opponent attacks us we'll go to fatal push the ragavan that just happens Ooh, and they cast a fairy they down tick just to draw a card and they cast a drc conniving they connive away a lightning bolt we will pop a relic find another karn and a land we'll just pass holding up both of our fields and a relic also not playing into a spell pierce here if they have it they cast an express federation they exile mistress bobble conniving and surveilling an opponent attacks us for three or for five bobbling us in combat we will field their white source they fail to find so we'll pop a relic and find a coffers. Great draw. They play out another white source and pass. Draw another field. And this turn, I could play out a Karn, but I'm going to go for the Mana Denial. Field their white source and then field one of their other lands. And this tells me that they probably have two lands in their hand because we saw two basics last game. That's the mountain we knew about. They run another Shredder and two a Consider. They can have away a Spell Pierce and a Bobble. And they attack us down to 10. Ooh, we find a Blood Chief's Thirst. So we'll play out of Coffers, feed on Karn, and we'll Blood Chief's Thirst the DRC, discard two land. Then we'll just grab a Worm Coil. They bounce our Worm Coil, cast an EI, exiles a Lightning Bolt, they discard a Breach and a Bobble, and that's just seven in the air. So that should be lethal if they attack us. Yep, and that's just game. Well played by the opponent. Let's get into match number four.
Match number four, we're on the draw, but with a great hand. So it goes Hallowed Fountain into Esper Sentinel. We find an Urborg. Let's play that out, and we'll Blood Chief's Thirst the Sentinel now. They go Urza Saga into Reality Chip. We find Damnation, pretty good draw. Let's just Night's Whisper, finding two lands. When it goes Horizon Canopy into a drum, we find a Karn. Just play out Demolition Field, plan on killing the Saga. They activate it, and we'll just kill it. Grabbing a Swamp. They grab four or a planes, but runs out another land. They crack their canopy, cast out a thopter, and we'll just go to push this reality chip. We do have damnation, but I kind of want them to counter this of some sort. Yep, they blacksmith skillet. And now we'll go for the board wipe. And they have a metallic rebuke. Wow. Yep, they got us pretty well. They equip the chip to the ornithopter. They land off the top into a hammer and attack us for five. Find a march. We'll march the ornithopter for two. That just happens. So we'll play out relic. We can't kill either of these anyways. They reconfigure to the construct. Play out a saga. Play out a thopter. And attack us for five. We'll pop relic. Really need a cabal coffers at this point. Blood Chief's Thirst also does it. Play out a swamp. There's the construct, field the saga, grab a swamp, and now just hold up double march. They play out a pure steel, and we have to just kill the pure steel in response. But then we're just dead on board, so opponent has us. We'll take out three relics for three engineered explosives. Game two, our hand's a little slow, but demolition field's really important in this matchup, so I'm gonna keep it. Lead on Urborg. Opponent has turn one Esper Sentinel. Play a field, and then we'll thirst this. We'll pay for the one. Then opponent runs out of Sanctifier. We find another thirst. We'll just whisper and run out of field. Holding up push. They run out of saga into a spring leaf drum attack us for two we have a hammer find another whisper and we'll just go for the field now if they have a blacksmith skill it sucks but we're gonna have to get rid of it yep and they had it so we'll play another field and pass they bop us for another two and we find a damnation we'll just play out a swamp and hold up the field they activate saga we'll field it they activate an ink moth attacking with everything I'm gonna push the construct and hope that they blacksmith skill this. This resolves down to 12. And opponent just passes after that. Ooh, and we find an invoke. Gonna go with the Knight's Whisper here. That just happens. And they had a big pause there, making me think that they do have the Metallic Rebuke. But we'll just hold up field. Wow, and they hard cast a Cauldra and attack us for five. And we're gonna need a Cabal Coffers here, or else we die. Find a Whisper, so we'll go for a Coffers. And we find it. And we have seven mana. So I think at this point, we need to invoke Despair and hope that we find a March. So we will go for the invoke. We find another Knight's Whisper. So I guess we'll go for a Profane Tutor and hope they don't have the land equip. Yep, an opponent just runs out an Ornithopter, which is a land, so they got us. So let's get into match number five. Match number five, hand has no black sources, so we gotta put it back. Our six also has no lands. And our five is okay. We'll put back Urborg and a tutor. Final goes Plains and Devile. Find another Urborg. We'll go Swamp and hold up Fatal Push. And no land for the opponent. Field Ruins a fine draw. Play that out and play a tutor. Opponent files in a giver. Opponent finds a planes. Running out of Stoneforge. Finding a cauldron. Ooh, and we find a Karn. So run out Relic and just pass the turn. They activate file in response. We'll just push this in case it's a Thalia. Because we have to kill the giver anyways. And they put in an Arbiter. They tick file up to three. Put in a cauldra and attack us for seven. We'll pop the Relic. Find another Urborg. So we'll cast the Profane Tutor. Pay for the Leonin Arbiter. And we have to grab a Coffers here. Find a March. Not a bad draw, but these two Urborgs are looking really awkward. Opponent takes up the vial to four, attacks us down to five, and they run another giver. We find another march. So we'll play out a Karn, down tick for an ensnaring bridge, then march the Leonin Arbiter, and go up to eight, and they only have seven damage on board. They have an ephemerate! No! They got us. Ah! Let's get on to sideboarding. We'll bring in two EEs for two relics. Game two, our hand looks keepable. We'll lead on turn one relic. Final goes turn one giver. Ooh, we find a damnation. Great draw. We'll push the giver, play a field, and pop the relic finding a field they go land into stoneforge finding a lion sash find a swamp we'll just kill this now because if they do have cauldron hand we cannot beat it when it runs out of prelete thankfully we do have damnation so when we find a swamp we'll play that out and just pass. Try and get a juicier damnation. They run out of sash. Ooh, we find a whisper. We'll cast that. Finding Urborg. Play that out. Play another whisper. Finding push and field. And step they eat their stone forge, growing the sash. They chip in for four and play out a sanctifier. So now this damnation looks great. Ooh, and they have a tech edge. We'll play out coffers. Activate coffers. Cast damnation. They tech edge our coffers, which is better than hitting them hitting our Urborg because we have another coffers. They play out a vial into another ghost quarter and do nothing else. Find an EE. That's what We'll just run that out and pop it immediately. It runs out an Archon. We top deck in a Despair, so we'll cast that. Find Push and an Urborg. We'll just run out Field. They run out Vile into a Lonely Skyclave. Find another Land. We'll play that out and just pass. We're in the Karn Waiting Room. They attack us down to 10. Play out a Stoneforge Mystic. Failing to find, so their last card in hand has to be a Cauldron.
Tundra. So we'll just push the Stoneforge. Find an EE. Now we're down to eight. They run out another land. Find another March. Guess we'll just run out of EE. Attack us for two. Play out a Phyrexian Revoker. So if our read is the last card is a Cauldra, it makes sense to start fielding their Ghost Quarters because that means they cannot use it if they want to cast Cauldra reasonably. Yep, and they must have Cauldra because they just let that go. Then we will field another one. And Revoker is fine. Naming Karn. We'll push the Revoker. Then we will field the Ghost Quarter again. And now we can play out our Cabal Coffers without it getting killed. To spend our profane tutor and march the skyclave for 10 there's land and presumably here comes the cauldra everything is making sense now they take us down to 11 find a relic we'll pop that immediately find another land we'll kill their blast zone and next turn we can just use this profane tutor to find a garn they attack us down to six and play out a skyclave so we'll just march this nice little gain 12 and on this board it's probably safer to grab an invoke than a karn Find another tutor finding two more herborgs and a push find a giver we'll just push that and <laughs> we draw our fourth herborg we'll cast profane tutor find a Karn, play out Karn, and opponent scoops him up there. Get into game three. Game three, our hand just doesn't have enough black sources, so we get them all. Our six is fine. Put back a swamp. Opponent goes turn one bile. We find a coffers. Actually, probably the best draw. Opponent goes land into sanctifier. We'll play Uraborg into tutor. Opponent goes planes into an archon. Hitting us for two with sanctifier find an invoke we'll run out coffers they activate vial then in the Arbor, we'll just push that now oh it hits us for four our upkeep we cast our tutor not sure what to get here a lot of great options i think march makes sense so that we can actually cast something instant speed find a field opponent ticks vial up to four back us for four again we're down to ten then they run out another archon so we will activate coffers and go to march one of the archon back up to 14 one of them goes down play out swamp poke the opponent and either one of these are pretty good to get off the battlefield they get rid of sanctifier we draw whisper and a field they bop us for two and tick vial up to five and they run out a skyclave find another land we'll lead on knight's whisper and damnation is a great draw uh, i'm not sure if this is not allowed to be done but are we not allowed to suspend this it's not allowing me but curious if anyone knows any judges down below in the comments wow they vile in a norn this is going to take us down to two the opponent takes us down to eight or taxes for eight down to two and we'll cast a damnation suspend our profane tutor and play out a demolition field it runs out of thalia so we got to top deck something here find a knight's whisper but that's going to kill us i guess we'll cast it and go out on our own terms yep and opponent ended up getting us so that's a two three for us well we started off hot and i think this deck is pretty decent but there are some you know obvious issues with it it really needs cabal coffers and herbord to really do anything i also think the sideboard is a little bit off here i'm not huge on the idea of warping whale i think there are better cards to be had and probably better cards than ee i think if you want something like this ratchet bomb is much better we're, we're a single color deck and we just can't ever really cast you know or x's two or whatever but other than that this deck's super fun i i really do enjoy this list and i think that you know if you're looking for something to go over the top and kind of tron-esque then i'd highly recommend this but overall i hope you guys enjoyed the video please consider leaving a like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video